So two myths that we find with accountability. First myth is that we believe it's all about holding others accountable. So I hear this a lot from training programs to leaders within companies. It's I want to hold others accountable. And then the second myth is when we think about accountability, it's a team thing or a group thing. So perhaps you could unpack those two because you really dispel both of those myths within your book and your research, and it's proven very successful. Again, that came from my experience calling on executives, sitting in thousands of hours of workshops. People would say, accountability is important. Then they talk about holding their people accountable. Parents do this all the time. They want to hold the child accountable. But wait a minute, mom and dad, that's excellent. But are, are you practicing personal accountability in your own life? And that's one reason, reason we actually wrote a parenting book, because we had QBQ clients saying, but I want to use this at home. And we'd say, well, go ahead. But they'd say, but we need it in a parenting format. So it applies everywhere at work or with parenting or with friendships. We're always trying to hold someone else accountable instead of saying, what can I do to improve me today? How can I be a better person? What can I do to learn new skills? Again, that's personal accountability. It's not about holding others accountable. Now, don't get me wrong. I know many, many of your clients, probably most of them, Charles, are managers, leaders. Absolutely. Part of management is setting standards, defining objectives, and coaching people to those standards and objectives. And when they don't reach them, we have to coach. Sometimes we have to confront on negative behaviors. And yes, sometimes we have to terminate. But that's not what QBQ is about. We're not talking about holding others accountable. We're talking about John Miller being personally accountable, improving self. And the other myth is about teams. Because all those buzz phrases that would come up like team accountability, shared accountability, mutual accountability, accountability groups. Well, those are all great, but let's make sure. And here's the key. We're not hiding behind the team. The minute we hide behind the team with language like, well, the team didn't get it done. The team didn't have enough resources. Nobody gave the, gave the team a clear vision or mission. The team didn't have the resources. Nobody on the team cares as much as I care. <laughs> the minute we say things like that, we're blaming the team. And I guarantee you, if you want teamwork, it starts with every person on the team practicing personal accountability. Otherwise, you have this. You have finger pointing and blame within the team. So we're not talking about river rafting and going on boondoggles to do team building. We're talking about individuals saying, what can I do to support the team? How can I be my best today? So accountability is not a group thing. It's not a team thing. It's a me thing. And secondly, it's not something I do to others. It's something I do myself. Those are the two myths. 